Glock 19, one of the greatest handguns ever created. It's the, the gun that I carry every day. Um, it's just, it's the perfect compromise gun in my opinion. 9mm, holds 15 rounds. I uh, wanted to do a video today to show everyone the differences between the Generation 3 and the Generation 4 Glock. Uh, these have all been safety checked. Let's see, nothing in there. Take all the mags out. It's cleared. There's a few major differences in them. The Generation 3, they've got a different stippling here. Um, they don't have the adjustable back straps. A little bit smaller uh, magazine release. And the Gen 3, the big one there is the dual recoil spring. The Gen 3s do not have the dual recoil spring. Gen 4s and the 19 and the 17 do. Um, that's something that they came up with when they did their came up with the subcompact. They uh, they came up with the dual recoil spring, and it wasn't until the Gen 4 that they come up with um, putting it in the 17 and the 19. Uh, you can see the 19 here. It's got a little more aggressive stippling, much larger uh, mag release. It does have the dual recoil spring there. See the sights are remain the same. And, Classic Glock sights. Same with this one. Sights are the same. The other big difference in them is how many mags they come with. The Gen 3s come with two mags. They got the speed loader, uh, spent shell casings, got the locks, all that. Uh, the Gen 4s, they come with three mags. They also come with the adjustable back straps. Which the newer ones, they did just come with these. The newer ones come with the extended beaver tail, which I like a lot. I didn't think that I was going to much care for the, the thicker palm swells here. But I've actually had one in my hand before and I actually like it quite a bit. And I've shot one in the 26, I've shot it and I really like it quite a bit. <clears throat> didn't think it would, but it kind of surprised me even. Um, so there you see that just the major differences we have between those, those three there. Or the, the Gen 3 and the Gen 4. plus about a 50 or $60 difference. Wasn't crazy about the Gen 4s at first, especially when they had the problems with their the, with the dual recoil springs in them, but they've corrected all that. Um, the dual recoil spring isn't what really sells me on them. I do like the, the, the way that the Gen 4 feels. I like having the extra, getting three mags instead of two, and I do like the extended beaver tail. So surprisingly, I just bought me, uh, me a Glock 19 and I went with the Gen 3 with the night sights um, like about less than a year ago. I got my 19, um, but, and I had a choice between getting the 3 and the Gen 4. I got the Gen 3 just because of the smooth grip more than anything, and at the time they hadn't really worked out the kinks with the dual recoil spring. I carry inside the waist a lot, and I thought that would get on my nerves having the rougher texture, but I don't think it would bother me as much as I thought it originally would. But there you have it. You see the difference between those two. And thanks for everybody for uh, stopping in and watching the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you've got any questions about anything, hit us up. We're up here at Indie Trading Post. Uh, 2851 South Madison in Indianapolis. We can be reached at 317-782-GUNS. Appreciate y'all. Thanks, guys. Bye.